Today, we're offering you futures on the largest Grand Cru Class A vineyard of the Appalachian. I did not know that, Tristan. Frambrosch is frigging huge. Well, remember when we stayed there? I know. It, it's, it, it's big. It's big, <laughs> but man, it's like, this is uh, the largest Grand Cru Class A property in San Emilio, you know, a bit like, um, uh, um, you know, Grand La Rose or something over or right. La Grange on the, on the, on the left yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah. Monster sized property, but delivering fantastic wine year after year. This has always been one of the Bernard McGray favorites, personally for me, uh, especially for the money. Yeah, totally. And, and that's just the thing, it's, it's for, for the money, what's in the bottle is fantastic. The package is fantastic. And you know, what I love about Bernard is the fact that he understands what the public wants. And what I mean by that is not just what's in the bottle, but he doesn't raise prices like everyone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he. I think this is the same price as last year, the 20, the 21. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, the boy wants to sell wine. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's a, that's just the bottom line. He wants to sell wine, mm -hmm. and he's still kicking. And we saw him, and I mean, he's just. He, it's Getting just amazing it. how yeah. this guy's in his late 80s, and he's just. He looks great, man. He looks great. Yeah. Anyway, but I like the consistency. I like the fact he's got this house style. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's okay, and sure, he's like he's like you know uh, lightened up on Pop Clemence. I think over the last few years, sure. he's he's done some polishing of these wines because these were unapologetic, classic, big gun, powerful Michelle Roland wines. Right, and they still kind of are. Yeah, but they are. I'm okay with it because the Michelle Roland stuff still ages really, really well. Absolutely. Another one of those sleeper wines, right? Yep. To me, that you're gonna put in the cellar 10, 12 years later, you're gonna be like, damn. Yeah. And uh, I think this wine exhibits those characters again. And again, around thirty dollars, you got big scores. Again, you got almost thirty percent franc this year, dude. Yeah, actually, actually, they they almost used all the Cabernet franc. They used all the franc for this one because, I mean, the vineyards, what ninety ten, ninety merlot ten uh, franc. Right. So well, they used all the franc nine. this year. Yeah. But they put all. Yeah, they used it all. So, so yeah, no, it's uh, again uh, the twenty twenty two from Vosges is. Absolutely a great wine, and for the money, a great value. And by the way, gang, they're using robots in the vineyard. 